right, I got a question for you guys. Do you ever feel overwhelmed trying to choose just the right wine for your meal? Well, David Mirasu of Mirasu Winery has some tips to figure out the ideal wine for your taste buds. And guess what? It does not involve what's on your plate. Throw out all of those preconceived notions, right? You're telling That's us right. It's our personality. I say have, have fun with choosing wine and choose it based on personality. I like that idea. Yeah. You actually have a quiz That's that right. helps you determine, you know, whatever type of personality you have is what kind of wine you should be drinking. And I love the quiz, too, right? So yeah, the quiz is really fun. It's at yeah. miracy.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the ways we like to start is if you have a sweet personality uh -huh. and um, or, you know, even if you have a bitter personality, maybe your uh, sweet wine can help transition uh -huh. that. Uh, so you have one down here. That, that what would, kind of a yeah, personality? That would be our Riesling for the sweeter personality. Gotcha. And uh, Riesling is is bright, and vivacious, um, has nice forward fruit, and it's actually a great turkey wine too. Really, it's for the yeah. big softy in you. Yeah, right? <laughs> or or for Christmas. I always love to have it on. Now, the if you're energetic, constantly on the go, but you want to have a nice glass of wine. This yeah, right that would be the Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. If you're always on your toes and, and you run circulars around your friends, <laughs> because Sauvignon Blanc has high acidity mm -hmm. and it's real vibrant, just like that personality. I love it. And yeah. if you're athletic and you spend your time playing sports more so than watching sports. Yeah, that would be the Pinot Grigio. Okay. Pinot Grigio has nice acidity, but it's kind of zingy and, and uh, sporty wine. And I so like that's that. for the, the person who be out in the golf course or mm -hmm. out goofing around playing baseball or <laughs> softball. Or right, getting that activity going yeah. on. Now, if you have a sunny, kind of a warm, mellow personality. Well, that would be wine. our Chardonnay. Um, okay. The Chardonnay kind of is a mellow personality. It's refreshing, and it's calm. You know, it right. goes with, just goes with the flow. Well, I'm mellow after this, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is very good. I like this a lot, too. Yeah, okay. it's a beautiful wine. And then if you're a perfectionist, you have more of a type A personality. That would be Pinot Noir. There Pinot Noir is, is a wine that you actually have to be a perfectionist to make. And so we're oh, wow. America's favorite Pinot, and we've been making it for so long, we, we, mm -hmm. we're perfectionists at it. What about Merlot drinkers? I see that you've got a bottle of Merlot here. Who's Merlot would be the type of person who likes the outdoors, like sits out or under the redwood trees in California or right. out here, goes up to upstate and goes kayaking or canoeing. I like that. And then the adventurous, taking a few risks That's here and there. Right. Is that going to be the same as the, the athletic? Type of personality? Um, yeah, but a little bit more wild side. Okay. You know, maybe they'd jump out of the, the airplane. <laughs> right. uh, Skydiving a little bit. Yeah, yeah. maybe smoke a cigar <laughs> on the patio. So that's the Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet. Okay, got it. Now, as far as the personalities are concerned, what if you've got a combo? See, because I've got a little crazy and I've got a little serious in me. Is there a wine for someone like me that has, I don't want to say multiple personalities, but you know <laughs> what I mean. If you've got a combination type of personality. What I like to do is is, is pull on, on the, the best part of the personality uh -huh. and part of the fun is bringing the bottle of wine and saying you are such a sweetheart I right. picked this wine because it's just the sweetest type of wine ah. and so it's it's really the conversation that goes along with picking mm -hmm. the wine since you're here David I have to ask you you see people holding the glass of wine by the stem you yeah. also see them at times holding it at the bottom What's the proper way, or is there a proper way? You can hold it any way you want, but what I prefer is to hold the stem because okay. it doesn't warm the, the wine in the glass. See, if, I, knew, I knew you would know yeah, that. Yeah, if you put your hand around the bottom, then mm -hmm. it's warming the wine. But if you hold the stem, then, then it's, uh, it's not warming up the wine. I love it. This is great. We're going to hang out for just a little while. I think you know why. All yes. right? <laughs> if you guys want to take the quiz and find out more about your personality and which kind of wine you'd match up with, you can go to our website, better.tv. We'll have a link to the quiz there. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the television program Better every weekday. Check your local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city.